hi everyone good afternoon so welcome back to our channel today we are going to discuss about the importance of class e chopper and how it operates in all the quadrants so coming to the quadrant operation so when you take the four quadrant operation so here you are going to have the x axis and y axis on the x axis you are going to have plus i not here you are going to have minus i not here you are going to have v not and here you are going to have minus v not so here when you add down the components is nothing but plus v not i not here is nothing but minus i not v not here minus i not minus v not here i not minus v not so this quadrant we are going to say that forward motoring mode of operation i mean our electric vehicle will try to move in forward direction so here current is reversed okay so actually current is i mean torque is proportional to flux into ia so i can say this current as torque and this voltage as speed so here we are going to have negative current and negative torque i can say that here the vehicle is trying to propel in the same direction and it is operating in forward regenerative braking so this is operated in forward regenerative braking type and here when you come to this quadrant this is operating in reverse motoring so why it is reverse is current is reverse voltage is reverse and when you come to here so it is running in reverse means in this direction is rotating now so in this direction also it is going to have reverse regenerative braking mode of operation so this how an uh, electric vehicle will have multiple quadrants where you can call this class e chopper as a four quadrant operation so this operates in four quadrant that is called four quadrant operation now how it operates let's try to experience uh, with the circuit diagram so coming to this uh, class e so here we are going to have a voltage source of vs and here we are having the bjt and in parallel to this we are having an diode d1 and here we are having one more diode which is nothing but d4 t1 t4 and here we have the inductive load sorry here we have t4 inductive load resistance and the voltage back emf and connected to the diodes this is a diode one and this is another diode which is nothing but d3 d2 in parallel to this we are going to have an so this will act as an transistor 2 transistor 3 so and we are giving the supply to the complete terminals and here we are short circuit this is the original operation now try to simply only see how the four quadrants are there coming to the first quadrant operation so here t1 or t2 are on okay so when t1 t2 is on it flows like this it comes to the t1 it flows across the inductor now the inductor is charged and this is the resistor and this is the back emf and it flows across t2 and trying to form an closed path this is t2 this is t1 and current is i not and the voltage is nothing but v not so when now the current is leaving plus v not minus i not into xl so v not is equal to i not into xl in the first quadrant you are going to have uh, i not as well as v not both are positive so first quadrant is complete so inductor and discharge again will leave it so now coming to the next operation so here the inductor is discharging okay the inductor has been charged here now the same inductor is undergoing an discharge and 
it flows to the diode D3. It flows to the diode D3 and it comes back to the supply through diode D4. I mean, I can say that D3, D4 are in on condition. Okay. Now the now already the inductor is charged. Now inductor will try to be charged by changing its polarity and try to maintain the current in the same direction as I naught. Okay. So now the current flows like this and the current flows like this. This is nothing but I naught current. Okay. So when you see the polarities, the EMF induced here it is positive, negative, and this is nothing but V naught. When you see here in respect to this terminal we are having positive and negative here you are having uh, the terminals are reversed so i can say that plus v naught plus i naught into xl v naught is equal to minus i naught xl ohms okay so here minus i naught and plus v naught minus i naught and so here you are going to have when you move this to here plus i naught and this is like you know you move the minus here this will be act as a plus so you are going to have i naught and minus v naught so i naught and v naught is exhibited by fourth quadrant now coming to the next operation so here we are going to already the inductor is in the same position like this only so the inductor is like this and we are having the Now you can see the inductor. This is in this position, and T3 as well as T4 are in on condition. So, therefore, the supply will come like this and it will be available across uh, T3 and it gets flows across T4 and I can say T3, T4 in on condition and now in this condition so already the back MF was there now it tries to flows in opposite direction therefore you are going to get minus I0 and I can say here here you are going to have minus I0 with the polarities of a positive and negative so I can say that this is a minus I0 and minus V0 where this is nothing but third quadrant Okay, so now third quadrant is completed. Now the same inductor which was earlier charged will try to discharge now. So inductor is there, resistor is there, back MF is there. So this was charged with the polarities of positive one, negative. Now it will discharge as positive one, negative, and it will try to flow across one more diode which is already available, which is nothing but uh, D1, and flows across the voltage source and it flows across the diode D2. I can say that D1, D2 are in on condition and the current will flow with the same polarity as minus I0. So here I am going to have minus I0, V0. So minus I0, V0. Now when you plot all this, you no, know, you will be getting here. So the first session, you can see here it was operated in in first quadrant plus V naught I naught and then it was operated in fourth quadrant and then it was operated in third quadrant and then it was operated in second quadrant. So like this the complete all the four quadrant are operated by an class E chopper. That's why class E chopper is a powerful chopper but in electric vehicle applications all these quadrants are very useful. So only it will operate in forward motoring mode, it will operate in forward motoring mode or it will operates in reverse regenerative braking mode. Next one is reverse motoring only it is there. There is no need of uh, reverse regenerative braking. So this reverse motoring is used for the making the electric vehicle to park. If you want to park your electric vehicle, you need for example electric vehicle is driving in this direction. You want to bring it to back direction or you want to park it. Parking or reversing an electric vehicle 
the quadrant three plays a major role. So this is all about uh, how the chopper operates in all the four quadrants. Hope the video is lengthy, but you should be able to understand it in all the ways. You can see here the overall view how it operates in all the quadrants. So first quadrant, fourth quadrant, third quadrant, and second quadrant. So if you feel the content is really useful, please give and like. It shall help us and support us. Please share with your friends. And if you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section. And please kindly subscribe to the channel and watch the content. Watching this will help us to boost us to more. And this is a moreover a free channel which will help you, which will help us to do more useful videos for you. And this is a free channel and is really meant for students. Hope we will promote and will make us uh, to do more videos in further. Thank you for watching. Listen and see you in next video.